What's going on guys? I'm Chu here. I know I'm behind Boruto, but hey, what it is, what it is. But these two episodes that close out this arc, I want to say were very, very good. I very much enjoyed both these episodes. Uh, I think the best part of this, best part of these episodes, I want to say, was probably the fighting. I enjoyed the fighting because there was a lot of it, different people going at it. I mean, the first episode of the two, we have both uh, both of these twins going up against Karin and Sarada. And then we have the other team with uh, Sumire and uh, all of them going up against, you know, the respective twins. And I will say they both both of these fights were enjoyable in their own way i definitely liked the like little a uh, throwback there with cutting using the chains to well to focus on uh Sarada and cutting's fight first let's talk about how that scene was so great i loved seeing them going up against her uh, at first we had Sarada using the shotting gun which came in handy for a few moments i will say it was helpful to see how you know, Sarada was able to kind of like keep up with it, but at the same time, Karin also became very used to like battle again. Like I think battle is something that both Sugetsu, her, and Jugo have been away from for quite some time, and there and it shows how rusty they are. Uh, but these two going up against the twin, uh, they are able to luckily defeat her. Uh, we have Sarada losing some of some of her chakra, but Karin actually, you know, has her forcefully, you know, but understandably takes a bite out of her so she can under like fully understand that this is a serious situation and that it, even if it's something that she's not comfortable with, she needed to do. So they ended up defeating her. So then we have. And the other fight, we do get to see how Sumire and the girls struggle. And it makes sense now why Sumire was in this arc. Not necessarily in this episode, but in the next. And it, you kind of understand it as the fight goes on. She's a little reluctant to use Nue, who is very small. Uh, and the girls are a bit outmatched, I want to say, at, at times. Uh, especially, you know, having... Namida and the other one, you know, just kind of being out of it, still trying to recover from the the curse mark and being good. We have them, you know, joining up afterwards, but still get defeated, and it sucks to see. But Sumire was really the focus here. Uh, Nue does use the chakra from the girls and is and is able to defeat uh, the other twin, which I was glad. But Going back to the main guys, we have Tosaka revealing his intentions. He's actually been trying to use the curse mark that Jugo had, thanks to Orochimaru, obviously, and perfect it. Like he wants to create the perfect weapon, uh, and he even betrays his own. Like that was crazy because he reveals that he has also taken the curse mark, and he calls himself that he is the perfect one. Uh, that was something. I was expecting, but this dude is bonkers. Like, this dude is crazy. Like, I don't understand what really he wants to prove with becoming part of, like, a cursed mark individual. And he actually has a syringe injecting what kind of seems like a... Uh, I thought, well, the, what would be the opposite of a tranquilizer? And that's basically having him uh, go have... Uh, Jugo go into rampage state uh, and it go, makes him try to go full out like he he intends to go against Jugo to I guess boost his own pride and thinking that he's the strongest of them all uh, you know when it comes to uh, I guess who had the better be uh, curse mark uh, and Jugo does escape unfortunately Sugetsu did try to help him out before he goes rampaging and this is where I said that that both Kanin and Sugetsu and Jugo are a bit rusty um Sugetsu of course is very sensitive to electricity but honestly I think he could have done a better job but he you know, Jugo does escape he actually runs out to the uh, lake and tries to see what's going on with the geese and we have the girls already there uh, they're having issues because they're they're having to race against time when it comes to these 
of geese and their migration, which leads us into the next episode, uh, the migration. And they're really running low on time. They're trying to gather all the ones with the red eyes to see if they can get rid of, obviously, the curse mark. Uh, Jugo really can't do it, especially at the moment, since he's gone full rampage at this time. And he does go up against, uh, I guess, the full... And I'm saying this in quotation marks, perfected form of Tosaka in the curse mark state. And this dude does not stand a chance. Like, he looks more like a demon other than anything else. And, like, he takes a beating from uh, Jugo, which, honestly, he deserved it. I thought he was going to kill him. And I think in Naruto, that would have happened. But since we're in Baruto, we're going to mellow it down. And he just sucks out the curse mark out of him making him back to a human and borderline dead like this dude is like almost wither down to nothing uh but he's still talking on about how jigo is gonna stay you know rampaging and this is how he's meant to be this is his destiny and during that talk we do have sumire trying to help out baruto through his fight and with the words of baruto going kind of helping out uh Sumide, we have Nue also joining the fray going up against uh, Jugo. It does help for a little bit, uh, but it's not enough. And we do have Baruto basically going up against Jugo with what he can. He remembers that with Mitsuki, I mean, uh, excuse me, with uh, Konohamaru, he was able to take him down with a, a Rasengan. So he tries the same thing himself. He does hit him and he. Thankfully, he does get him to snap back to normal. Uh, but time is running at really low. And we have Sarada kind of debating on whether or not she should go through with the plan that Karin had. It, and that was to exp destroy the ones that are affected still. But luckily, Mitsuki shows up along with Konohamaru and Sugetsu. And they are able to save the geese with the... Well, I guess with Sugetsu's jutsu and kind of absorbing the, the serum that they are able to find and just kind of spread it around like rain and having all of them freed. So it was really cool overall the way this ends. Like it, Because of all of this sense of having freedom and going after you want, we have Sumire, what could possibly be her last mission. She wants to be part of the ninja science development of some sort, I think that was called, in order to control New Way better. Which I think is a great idea. I do hate that she's not going to probably be partaking in any more missions. It was nice to see Kaden, Suigetsu, and Jugo, especially after them being absent so long. And Kaden kicking in like that motherly instinct when it comes to Sarada. I know, we all know that she has a soft spot for her. She does love her, care for her, and she was there. So, overall, I did enjoy these this little mini arc and it ending. And going, I guess, now back to some other annoying filler. But guys, I do apologize for it being late. As always, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others. And I will catch you later. Bye -bye.